cross-site scripting, or XSS, allows attackers to inject malicious code into our web pages, where that code, when it runs, is able to do something unintended and harmful, such as steal data or redirect users elsewhere, for example. To help our Angular 2 apps be protected against XSS, Angular, by default, treats many values as untrusted. That is to say, values that are to be inserted into the DOM are automatically treated as unsafe, and Angular parses them and, where necessary, makes sure they are safe before they are actually used. As an example, let's look at how Angular approaches security in the HTML context. Given a component here, simple for component, with a variable some HTML, you'll recognize that the string does contain valid HTML in the form of a script tag that pops up an alert. Now, here in our demo, we're hard coding this value into the component, but it's important to understand that in a production application, it's a common thing for variables like this to be set based on values coming from user input or from server-side resources. Now, as you can see here, our script tag is fairly harmless, but if an attacker is able to provide a value like this containing a script tag that can get into our DOM, it's fair to assume that attacker is going to be concerning themselves with something more malicious than a simple pop-up alert. If we take some time here to look at the external template that goes along with this component, you can see that we're going to be using our variable a few times in the template. In the first instance here, we're rendering the value of some HTML via interpolation. And in the second instance here, what we're doing is using a property binding to bind this paragraph's inner HTML value to the value of some HTML. Leaving things the way they are, if we were to run this application in the browser, when it loads up, you'll notice that in none of these cases did we actually see that alert window, and that's because of Angular's built-in protection. In our first paragraph, where we used interpolation, you can see that the HTML is simply not interpreted. The value of the sum HTML variable shows up directly in the text of our paragraph, and it's not treated as actual HTML by Angular. In contrast, if we did want our HTML to be interpreted, we would have to bind it to an HTML property, such as inner HTML, which is what we did do in our second example. What happens in this case when we do this is that Angular notices that this value that we're binding might be unsafe, it might be a vulnerability, and so Angular automatically sanitizes the value, stripping away any unsafe values like the script tag. What we see rendered out is what is left over and is not considered a threat in our HTML context. Whenever Angular automatically sanitizes some values for us, we're always going to be able to get notifications of that happening if we take a look at our console's output.